Hello, my name is Phil Akers with Super Duty Fans. I appreciate your stopping by today. So you're out on the internet looking for industrial fans, and this is where you ended up. Welcome. We did the same thing, and we could not find the fan that made sense for us, so we built it. When we were out looking at fans, you know, you really have two options is what we found. You've got the option of a lot of fans that are about a thousand bucks. They call them industrial fans, but they're really not moving a lot of air. They're really not industrial use. They're just some fan made in China that someone calls industrial and with some funky Chinese name and maybe an American company puts their name on it as well, but it's the same thing. They just don't move enough air and they're not built for industrial use but they call them industrial. We weren't gonna play that game um, and, and spend a thousand bucks plus installation to find out they don't move in a fair. The second choice you have is buying a great big fan, the monstrous fans, HBLS fans, and those things are anywhere from 3,500 all the way up to 20,000 bucks, depending on how big you get. And they do move pretty good amounts of air, at least the larger ones do. The smaller ones are really kind of weak but we weren't gonna spend that kind of money on fans. We just didn't think it took eight or $10,000 to move air. So we designed our own fan, and this is what we came up with, the Super Duty fans. We consulted with, uh, with experts from the fan business, from the aeronautical business, anybody we could, we could use to help us design the perfect fan to move a lot of air at an affordable price, and the Super Duty fans are the result of that. So let me tell you a little bit about them today. This model right behind me is our 5X or 5V model. It's a five foot fan. And it is our bread and butter. This is the first one we came out with. Wildly popular on the market. Uh, this one moves about 43,000 CFM, which is a lot of air. It's belt driven so that it's quiet. Everything is made so they don't corrode. Stainless steel, powder coated, zinc plated, you name it. Uh, they're gonna, once you hang them up there, they're gonna move a lot of air for a long time, be worry free. This is the first one we came out with. It's 59 inches, so it's just small enough that it doesn't have to uh, be hooked into a fire sprinkler system. If you have one of those, fans are exempt if they're under 60 inches in diameter and have more than 50% open face, which these fans do. So um, that saves a lot of money and effort over the years uh, by not being tied into the fire sprinkler system. So 59 inches. I'll come back to this in a little bit and show you some of the more specific features. But we have three sizes of overhead fans. And these are three fans that we made for a customer that wanted them done in, they always want them done in their corporate color blue. Uh, we have a 3X, which is about a three foot fan, a 4X, about four footer, and then the 5X again, which is the five foot fan. And on the two bigger ones, you can get them in variable speed or single speed. <clears throat> the variable speed is 400 bucks more, but you get an inverter motor with a uh, VFD that converts whatever input you use, whether it's 110 or 220 uh, for the input. It converts it to three phase 220 to go to the inverter motor. So it's bulletproof motor. It's idling when it's blowing 43,000 CFM, so it lasts a long, long, long time. Also gives you reverse and, of course, the variable speed. So that's a nice feature. These are the sizes we have uh, hanging from the ceiling. And we have, we've done our research, and the best way to cool a building is to move the hot air off the ceiling. If you don't get the hot air off the ceiling, you're not going to cool it at the floor level. So ceiling fans are the way to go. A lot of people will opt for the five or six hundred dollar drum fan that's on the floor. You're constantly moving it around, and it's always in the way, and they don't last very long. They last for maybe a season because they're not built to be durable like ours are. But more importantly, they never get the heat, the heat off the ceiling. And so, as long as you've got that heat up there, you're not going to cool your people at the ground level. So you put them up on the ceiling. These come with straps that hang down about four feet from the ceiling. And that is just enough room to get enough good airflow circulation behind the fan and to get everything moving in the building so that the circulation is there with no hot spots in the building. We've also designed these to have an airflow that comes down in a big funnel shape. We didn't want to just come down and blast the guy that's underneath of it. We wanted to cover a lot of area. So this big fan covers a lot of area. It'll do up to about 4,000 to 5,000 square feet depending on how high your ceilings are and how much obstacles you have on the floor. There's a lot of variables, but about four to 5,000 square feet 
uh, which is a big, big area. Uh, and so that's the way these are designed with this stainless steel blade system. Now we do have one other fan model that we use, and this is our floor fan. And it's the same as the five series fans, but it's got the wheels on it. It also has the OSHA compliant grate on the front and back, so your children can get their fingers in it. Uh, and it won't, it won't pick up debris and, and blow through the blades as well. Uh, but this model, we have our red blade set on, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But basically, we wanted to have an option on our five series fans where instead of giving that funnel shape airflow, we had some people that wanted it to blow straight and for long distances, like robotic warehouses, uh, production lines, uh, aisles and inventory warehouses. So we, we use this red blade set, which is a different design blade and also sits back further in the shroud so that it gives you that long, skinny airflow. So we can do that on the, this red blade on the floor fan uh, or the five series overhead fan, depending on what you're trying to accomplish with your fan. Uh, so that's the series we have. We have the, we'll start with the five series. We have the three different sizes for overhead fans. And then we have the floor fan, uh, which is available uh, they, all, they all come in, the floor fans all come in variable speed and you get the red blades or the stainless steel blades. So let me tell you a little bit more specifically about some of the features of our fans. Uh, first thing is these fans are bulletproof. This is a metal shroud, no, not fiberglass, not plastic. We're not playing any games. Once you buy these fans and they're give or take around 2,000 bucks for the bigger ones, um, you hang them up there, you can forget about them and your guys will love you for having them. But you hang them up there and, and they're good to go for a long, long time. We built them to last with the steel parts, as I said before, the stainless steel blades. And those blades, as shiny as they are, we don't polish them, we don't chrome plate them. They come that way because two areas on, on fans normally are your weak spots. The first is your blades. You know, they're good for a season. And after, if, if, if the fan is from a big box store, the, the blades are normally pressed aluminum and they get stress cracks at the hub screws and they fail, they fall off and your fan is shot, you just gotta go buy a new one. So we fix that on our fans by using stainless steel blades, thicker than, than anybody makes them. And they are not just stainless steel, but they're Krupp stainless steel from Germany. Krupp makes the best stainless steel in the world. And these blades are made from Krupp stainless steel. That's why they're so shiny, because it's such a pure stainless steel. They won't corrode, they won't break, they're impervious, they're wonderful blades. The other thing we do on the blades is we balance them. Most people don't balance their blades, they just spin those little aluminum blades at you know, six, seven, eight hundred RPM or more, and they just come apart after a while. We're turning ours about 427 RPM, we balance them, so you get very little vibration, and vibration is what gets you your stress cracks. So they're all balanced, and they're Krupp stainless steel. The other thing we do is we groove them. We put these designs in these blades. That helps to dampen any vibration that might set in. It makes them stronger. So I'll quit there, but we put a lot of work in the blades to make sure they're durable and give you great longevity. The other thing we do on these fans is we have the steel cross member here, and that keeps it you know, from impacting if someone were to hit it, it's not gonna cave in, it's strong, that holds the structure of the fan together. We put an eye bolt on the end of each of these, and that's where the blade, the belt, hooks on these, through these quick ones. And the, the, the belt goes on there and goes to the ceiling and holds it to the ceiling. There's a loop on each end of the belt, so you put that on there, put this up over your joist or an eye bolt on the ceiling, whatever you need to do, run it back through itself, and it's super easy to attach to the ceiling. We use straps, and this is part of our patent. We have 12 different features on these fans that are, are claimed on our patent and approved, and so they really are unique. But the, the belt or the uh, straps are one of them because these don't take the vibration of the fan to the ceiling and make it amplify to make them louder. It dampens the vibration. Also, if the fan does get hit by a forklift or whatever carrying something tall, these allow the fan to just swing and not break. So, and the third thing it does is you, you can lengthen or shorten these straps to angle these fans at any angle that you want. You don't have to hang them horizontal like the HVLS fans. You can mount these things at any angle, 45 degrees, vertical, upside down, you name it. 
and move the air where you want it to be moved. Everything on these fans are, are built and designed to be hung at any angle. That's a huge difference between us and any other fan on the market. Put these at a 45 near a doorway, blow air out that door, put another one at the other end at a 45 to bring air in that door, get fresh air moving through your, your facility. So the straps are a huge benefit for these fans, a huge part of our uh, patterns. The other thing we do on the motor and the pulley, we don't use cheap pulleys. We use, the cost, these are not cheap. We use cast iron pulleys, not cast aluminum, cast iron grade 35, and they are made to last for years. Super good pulleys, powder coated. And the belt, you probably want well, belt drive, I'm gonna have to tighten that thing up every so often. No, we use the best belt you can get, which is a Kevlar belt, the same belt that they, they use on lawnmower decks constantly get hit by rocks and glass and debris. But these things do not stretch, and they do not break. They're incredible belts, and that's what we use on our fans. So belts are not an issue. So the motor, we use the best motor we can get. They're totally enclosed air over motors, which means they have no openings for moisture and dirt and bugs to get inside and corrode inside the motor and damage your motor. That's what goes wrong with the big box fans, is your motor and your blades. And the motors get contaminated from the debris that gets in there because everybody's got a rough environment where these fans go. And these are built for it. But if you get dust and stuff in those cheap motors, they're good for about a season again. And they'll slow down on you first and then they get hot and, and fail. So we fixed on our fans what other fans taught us because we did the same thing. We bought those box fans every year and we'd use them in agriculture and big buildings and stuff, and they would last a year, and we'd throw up our hands and say, we gotta go buy another doggone fan, what a hassle. So we, we're done with that. We've got these fans that are made to last. Uh, we make them right here in North Texas. They're a product of Texas, and we have a lot of Texas employees that have to take pride in their job to make these things and ship them out, and we're very proud of them. So let me tell you a little bit more about the fans. The, uh, the red blade option I mentioned before is this blade set right here. It's very aggressive scoop, very aggressive pitch on the blades. There are three blades, so there's not a whole lot of mass to be spinning. So we do spin them a little faster than the stainless steel blades. But we can move air up to about a, a little over 100 feet in a straight line with this blade set. It's amazing how far this will throw air. So if you've got a long area where you need to move air, the red blade set is the way to go. It's the same price as the stainless steel blade set. Just let us know which one you want, whether you're trying to accomplish a funnel shape to cover a lot of area, or if you're trying to throw a long skinny um, column of air, then use the red blade set. Uh, amazing piece of material there. The other thing we have now is a wall mount. We have some people that wanted to use a red blade um, ceiling fan, but they needed to mount it on a wall. Uh, to throw it down the column of, of uh, inventory aisles or whatever you've got. So we have this wall mount, which mounts onto your vertical beam for your warehouse, and it hangs out like that. And the fan hangs on that eye bolt at the end, and then you use a couple straps to bring it up to here, so you can adjust the uh, left and right, you can go about 45 degrees left, 45 degrees right, and you can also pull it back up to about 45 degrees. So if you're hanging real high and you want to come down at a 45, you can do it, or if you just want to do you know, a slight angle to blow down the floor of an inventory aisle, it'll work real well for that too. Uh, some restaurants use these for outdoor seating areas, so wherever you need to do it. Um, we do have by the way, uh, an OSHA compliant grade for the four series fans also. So if you're going to use a four series fan on the wall mount and it's less than 10 feet high, we can do the OSHA grade on that. Just let us know. And that way it's approved for a restaurant, eating areas and patios and, and what have you, or a workstation at a manufacturing facility that isn't quite 10 feet. So we can do that, the, the OSHA grade on the four, four series or the five series and they both come in variable speed or single speed, as I said before. So in a nutshell, you know, that's pretty much what these fans are. We feel strongly that they fill that void between the super expensive fans that you have to pull money out of your college savings account for your children to buy those fans, 
and the fans you'll blow a thousand bucks on plus installation that won't move enough air for you and just frustrate you. Uh, you're better off to put your hand in a vise and beat it with a hammer. You get more enjoyment out of that than you would watching a thousand dollar fan that doesn't do the job for you. So the Super Duty fans are the answer. They're working great for us. We've been in business for three years with this model. A fan company's been in business for seven years. And these fans are taking off and we're having trouble keeping up. We're getting her done. The pandemic last year was horrible. It taught us that you've got to take care of your people. Health is number one. And fans are a big part of the wellness of employees and keeping them happy, keeping them productive for you. So that's our line. Please let us know how we can help you. Send us an email, give us a call, buy them online, whatever you want to do. Uh, Phil Eggers, the fan man with Super Duty Fans. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.